We're into the meat of the Flanders Classic season now. The sun is shining, spring is here, and it's time for Ghent Wevelhem in Flanders Fields, the 80th edition of this great race, 250 kilometres long, starting in Dens, just outside of Ghent, and heading to Wevelhem, where they're due to finish at around a quarter to six under sunny skies and with a temperature of 12 degrees. Once the start was given, the attacks would flow, and they would flow for some time. The first hour was ridden above 50 kilometers per hour. The first two hours at 46 kilometers per hour on average. Rider down from EF Drapak, and tell you that rider is number 72, Mitchell Docker. Oh, and he's holding his wrist. That's not good news. This is a man who is aiming to try and win Paris Roubaix this year. Oh, but now that maybe giving himself a five, ten minute break, but he should know better than most in these races. You sometimes can't afford that. No, and you, you know, you look here, you know, Sagan right up there towards the front, Viviani also up towards the front. On to the legendary Kemmelberg for the first time in this year's Ghent Wevelkamp. Two ascensions. Oh, look at those cobbles, immediately they're more difficult, they're immediately grim. they're more testy. Look at this at the back. Viviani's got some legs on him, he's really going well. The sprinter for quick step just sat, got the confidence having Gilbert with him. Denkolb goes through. Belgian champion Narsen is there, but where's the world champion? There he is, a long way down. Philippe Gilbert has been having a go. Yves Lompat has had a dig or two. And quick step, I try to light up the race again. 66 Ks to go, it's Lompat once more. Three sections of dirt road in five kilometers. Look at all the stones and the surface, the mud. This is going to be a right nightmare if you have a touch of wheels. Whoa. World Tour riders, riders Stibar. on the ground. And again, it's education first involved. Stibar's there. It's riders towards the front who've been involved. Number five, Stefan Kung down as well, getting up. Stibar's trying to get going again. Kung is not happy. What's happened is Modolo. Oh, Sacha Modolo down as well. And that's not good news for education first. Galapan, totally Galapan there. What a disaster. Oh, Some big names going down. That's hurting. There's the race in its entirety. What's left of it? All in one shot. Counter-attack time. Counter-attack time from the former winner. It's the German champion, Marcus Berghardt, and Peter Sagan's team playing another card. Gonsalves, Dukunwav and Skip, Frieson, Ghana and Van Gutem about to be caught. And we're talking over a minute now to the four riders chasing. As we're on to the Kemmelberg for the final time. The last test, the last chance, the last launch pad. And it's a breakaway that's gone up the road that has a chance here. For Marke is going to make a move. Oh, we've got riders on the left hand side. Moscon, Moscon. into the barriers. Moscon into the barriers. Viviani is there trying to keep up. Moscon's done quite well to get back on his bike there. And Van Kerspulk is swinging. 33 with 33k to go. That's, it's well within grasp of the peloton, but who is going to chase? Who is able to chase? But meanwhile, up front, well, Bora have got uh, got some good numbers. There are at least four, I think even five quick step riders. And this is the composition of the group. Van Avermaet, Burkhardt, Frieson, Sagan, De Bussere, and Willeis. Frederick Frieson there, and people Ganna. Well, they need uh, applause and deserve applause for staying up there this far. Well, that's what's left of the race. Not a lot. The winner is going to come from the riders you can see on your screen. And Guillaume van Kerspolk attacks for Wanty Group Gobert with one kilometre to go. And he's being followed by Van Skip, the chat rider. Look out for the French champion on the left hand side, but he's boxed in at the moment. Viviani in the middle as well. It's Trentin through the middle and the yellow with two hundred metres to go. He's gone for it. Sagan on the right hand side, the former winner. Look on the left there, you can see the French champion. It's Sagan at the front of the minute. Sagan's a man, they're all following. Sagan is there, but here comes Viviani. It's Peter Sagan for a third time and he becomes the most successful rider in the history of Ghent Wevelkem. He joins five other winners on three victories each but with his podium places nobody has ever done a gooder job on the roads of Ghent Wevelkem as the world champion and my he needed that victory. And this is the win that Peter Sagan picked up. He beat Elia Viviani into second place with Arnold Demar finishing on the podium. Christophe Laporte, another French rider with a very good fourth place. Fifth foot, Bussere, Nassen, Trentin, Stibard, Sturven and Van Aert round out the top ten after 250 of some of the most difficult kilometres you'll find in world cycling.